The glasses are always so disgusting before this. For those of you curious, it's 30 degrees in here, even with the heat on. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an update video on what's going on with the Impreza. So, last I left off, um, I had just announced the car. We had done a cool little video with it. And that's about it. It's been sitting in the same spot, continuously flattening its own tires. Real good purchase. One of the reasons for this was because I was waiting for parts, and the other reason for this was because I was at school. This week, I'm home for Thanksgiving, so I figured I would take some time. I ordered parts while I was at school. I figured I'd take some time and get it running so we can start to make more content with it. So the plan for this week is to pull the engine and the trans out of the Hawkeye because I want to get it running and driving and I want to be able to use it because I bought it to drive it. But while it's out to do the transmission, which I have sitting over there and I have a box full of fluids behind me, I figured if the engine's out I might as well re-gasket it and retime it. In here I have timing belt and spark plugs, which are going to just, you know, some preventative maintenance. I, I, I don't know if it's an interference engine or not, but I don't want to find out. And then underneath here is a gasketing kit, just head gaskets, valve cover gaskets, the cam gear o-ring, the VDT o-ring, I think this engine has that. Have it if it does. And just everything else that could possibly leak I wanted to take care of. And then some brand new head bolts, which I don't think you can see because these lights are so freaking bright. And then from there on, I'm going to bring the engine over on a stand where I'm currently standing. And I'm going to do the work here where it is warm. On that note, it is currently 29 degrees in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, which means that the garage is about 35, which means where I'm currently standing is only about 45 degrees. So it will be bearable over here, but until then, the car is going to be set over there until it warms up a little. When it hits the 40s, it'll be more bearable in here. On that note, that should be happening Monday. Today is Saturday, this will be going up Sunday. I will be recording some video, probably prepping this and um, de-harnessing the car and all of that. And then we will start to do the actual work. So Sunday video, Monday video, Tuesday video. Wednesday will be regasketing the engine. Thursday will be the Wednesday video. We'll be probably putting it back in. And Friday's video will be my review of the OBD-11. If you notice, those are daily videos. So. This week, I'm going to be trying daily videos to see if I can even do that. I usually take about a week to edit all of my videos because I procrastinate until Thursday. So we'll have to see if I'm actually going to be able to do this. If suddenly these videos just stop, then yeah, it didn't work out. But so far, I think we should be good. And I'm actually really excited about this because I don't know if you can tell, but I really enjoy doing this. But I haven't actually unboxed these, so let's do an unboxing. I need to move these suns somewhere that aren't directly in my eyesight. I want to move everything over here. And then we're going to talk about why I'm upgrading head gaskets in these cars and why they fail, because the EJ253 that's in that car is kind of the butt of the joke when it comes to EJs and failing. The 255s aren't bad, and the 257s are even better but I'll show you why that happens in a minute. So let's get over to the bench and I can get these lights out of my eyes because there's two squares in my vision right now and it's kind of painful. So let's, all right. So the first thing I ordered was a set of spark plugs, just NGK, you know, whatever off the shelf I could find. Uh, I also picked up some head studs or I think they're head bolts actually. And we have the timing kit, which I'm going to do my best not to drop because the box looks like it's going to fall apart, which we will get into in depth in a minute. And then finally, I got a just a off the shelf gasket kit from Amazon that we have used in the past on the previous engine, and it worked really well actually. There was a leak in the cam seals, but we didn't actually do them. We thought they would be okay, but that was. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that mistake this time. So these are just NGK spark plugs. They're going to be, what, 
you could buy off of uh, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Amazon, pretty much wherever you can buy spark plugs, you can buy NGKs. Again, not too interesting. Where we do get into the interesting bits is in here. This is, actually, I'm gonna save this for last. And we're going to look at the timing kit next, which isn't really that interesting either, but you have your belt. The, is the EJ253 is a belt, uh, not belt driven, what word am I looking for? Belt timed engine. This kit came with a bunch of cam seals. So there's supposed to be four of them. I think one of them fell down there. There's two of them now. And then your front main seal. I don't think I need a rear main seal. I might end up picking one of those up as well. Yeah, I sped this up because it's timing gear. How interesting could it possibly be? I'll end up going more in depth into it when we actually get into the engine build, but for now. So this comes on a board with everything you need straight out of the box. I almost punted all my lights over. So you have valve stem seals, which I don't know if I'm going to end up doing or not, but it's nice to have them. I might actually, because I think this engine is leaking through the valves a little. These are all your miscellaneous little uh, O-rings, crush washers. This is pretty much everything you need for the head. Um, there are, yeah, here we go. There are the valve cover gasket, as well as the spark plug tube gaskets, because they get hard as a rock on the EJs and then they leak. And you have your timing cover gasket. That's just keep oil in the timing cover when it inevitably leaks through somewhere. I'm gonna move these all off to the side and you get to the fun stuff. These are your exhaust gaskets. I'm probably gonna end up using these because we'll talk about this in a minute when I unbox it, which we're probably gonna have to move over there for, but these are head gaskets for an EJ. These are multi-layer steel. Unbox therapy would not be proud of me. So these are multi-layer steel head gaskets. You can see, if I get it closed, you can see there's multiple layers of steel that make up the head gasket. That's why it is called a multi-layer steel head gasket. They replace what Subaru made a mistake with, with the original EJ253, a single layer head gasket that had graphite in between where the head and the block would mate together which would wear away, and this actually came off of Scott's uh, EJ from back in the day, which I'm gonna probably insert a clip because that car sounded so good. These fail and you end up getting what Subarus are known for, which is head gasket problems. Every car that isn't naturally aspirated, and even the newer ones, the FA series, the FB series, don't come with these anymore because they learned their lesson. These were a terrible idea, which is why if you are going to build a budget race car like I plan to do with the... I just realized I don't have a name for this yet. If you have any name ideas for the Hawkeye, let me know. So it, but based on what I'm going to do with the Hawkeye, I wanted to upgrade the head gaskets. Even if they haven't failed, I don't want to take any chances. So these are hopefully going to extend the life of the car and make it so that they last longer when I am abusing it in autocross or on the track. I think the first thing we're going to do next year when we have, you know, warmer weather is Track Nights of America and uh, probably going to do some... Um, and do me a favor and throw some air quotes around this for me, but uh, we're probably going to do some winter testing, which means this engine is going to need to be able to stand up to our winter testing campaign. Okay. I'm actually gonna stop him right there. This video is getting a bit long, so I'm gonna save this part for the next one. See you tomorrow. That is gonna be the end of this video and the beginning of daily vlogs. Vlogs, videos, meh, whatever I end up doing. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment, go check out another video. If you're a returning viewer, 
like, comment, everything else. Thank you for sticking around. You make this all possible, and you keep me going. And as always, peace out, everyone.